for your first period class provided you today is a day six. Good morning, everybody. Your sports core update on your Carl Sue Miguel, the NHL conspiracy. I mean, lottery as the Buffalo Sabres found out Saturday night that they will be receiving the second overall pick and more than likely Jack Leichel is heading our way. That means that Connor McDavid will be going first overall, except maybe to a team he wasn't expecting, the Edmonton Oilers. It's the third time they've won the lottery in the past six years. As Reichel, the Hobie Baker Award winner, became the face of the NCAA tournament back in March with the Boston University Terriers, who lost to the NCAA championship. The freshman scored 38 goals this past season at the collegiate level. The NHL draft is June 26. Here are the results of the first weekend of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Canadians have a 3-0 lead over the Senators after their overtime win last night. The Islanders took a 2-1 lead over the Capitals after their overtime win yesterday as well. The Blackhawks have a 2-1 lead over the Predators, and the Flames have a 2-1 lead over the Canucks. The Penguins and Rangers are tied at 1. The Red Wings and Lightning are also tied at 1 after Tampa Bay crushed them on Saturday 5-1 to final score. The Wild and the Blues are tied at 1 as well. The Ducks have a 2-0 lead over the Jets. On tap for tonight, Game 3 is of the Rangers-Penguins, Ducks, Jets, and Blues Wild Series. Highlights coming up tomorrow. The NBA playoffs kicked off the season as well here. The scores from all of the Game 1s. The Wizards won an OT over the Raptors, 93-86. The Warriors won behind Steph Curry's 34 points over the Pelicans, 106-99. The Bulls won over the Bucks as well, 103-91. Derrick Rose finished with 23 points and 7 assists in his first postseason appearance in three years. And the Rockets won over the Mavericks on Saturday, 118-118. To 108. Then yesterday, the Cavs won over the Celtics 113 100. Kyrie Irving finished with 30 points in his postseason debut. The Hawks won over the Nets in Atlanta 99 92. Grizzlies get by the Blazers 100 86. And the Clippers win over the Spurs. Final score there out on the West Coast 107 to 92. Other news from the hard water our very own Chris Warrior was named to the All Western New York Honorable Mention list. Sear, who was also voted to the first team NFL, averaged 13.5 points, 9.7 rebounds, and 4.5 steals per game in his third varsity season. Where he led the Jacks, as you all know, to a share of the NFL title to the Class A1 championship against Bull South at Buff State back in March. Congratulations to Woodard this morning. Also, another NT news 48 hours after their walk off heroics, the NT baseball squad lost their non league matchup against Frontier. On Saturday morning, 9-7, team blew a 5-3 lead, and the Falcons didn't look back. The 1-4 Lumberjacks are back in action today on the road against the Kennedy's Bulldogs. The softball team is at Belvis Field looking for their first win of the season against the Lady Bulldogs. First pitch is at 4:45, and the Lady Jackson Cross team is in action too this evening. Right behind us at the Lumberyard, taking on Grand Island, looking for their first win of the season as well. A couple of last notes here. Chris Bryant recorded his first major league hit with the Cubs over the weekend. A-Rod is now two home runs away from passing Willie Mays for fourth all-time on the home run list. The Mets won their eighth straight on Sunday. The Bisons are now on a six-game winning streak after their 2-1 walk-off yesterday against Lehigh Valley. And the Eagles have signed Tim Tebow. I'll be tweeting updates about the NT baseball game later this afternoon, so be sure to follow me on Twitter at the Prof NT. And with your sports corner update, I'm Rokaus Harry Tan. We'll be back in just a moment.